Hi everybody, this is Alice Squares Magnificent and Outdoors. Uh, I just made it down here to uh, Antietam of 1862. Uh, we're taking a walk through the uh, Bloody Lane where the uh, Union and the Confederates had it out up in here. This was the uh, cornfield where they uh, came through, but the Union came through here. Right now it's just a, it's a wheat field, as, as you can tell. This side here, I guess this was the uh, Confederate side. So we're just going to take a walk down here as far as I can. I'm just doing a little video for you guys. This ain't, this, this is just parts of it, but um, you guys can tell that this was on, on I guess this was the uh, third phase of the Battle of uh, Antietam. I'm going to show you how deep, deep this uh, bloody lane's, how deep the bloody lane is. So we're just going to keep on going down through here. It was, it's, it was a little deeper back then. But uh, before this was even a battle here, this was a uh, actual little, um, a trail for, for uh, horses to go through from one end to the next. Because it went, it went down through this direction and went down down through through here so we're just going to take you on a little walking tour here I'm not in my uniform so we're going to show you how deep this uh, bloody lane is because in, in years time I mean, it used to be a lot deeper than this back then of, of 1862 but we're just going to go down as far as we can go because we're just going down through this little trail here up through here just give you a picture of this uh, monument here I was going to do the whole battlefield of Antietam but I decided not to but we're just going to give you a little shot of this uh, monument up here of the uh, hundred and Let's see what it is here. We can get a little closer shot for it. The 132 Pennsylvania Volunteers Infantry. This is their monument here. <laughs> but you can tell where it's uh, getting a little um, deeper in between each other. But you can tell. We got some people walking up here. So we're just gonna give you a little tour down through here. Which which you can say here. I right, someone had their uh, phone going. I had to put this thing on pause. Somebody had their phone going. So I, mean, I didn't want to put have any copyright strikes or anything like that. But here's the back end of it right here. Show you more. This is how deep it was through the, through the buddy lane. There's another path up there to another monument up there. Here we have another monument for you guys.
You see, what this uh, monument here is, <coughs> this is the 8th Regiment, Ohio Volunteer Regiment. This is what this is. Give you a little view of this here. And I hope you all enjoying this uh, little view of uh, the bloody lane. <laughs> Not in uniform today, but we'll just give you a little shot of the uh, U.S. Second Army Army Corps. Kimbell's Brigade, French's Division. It was in September. See if y'all can read all that. This is how it was probably just a little deeper, like I said, it was probably just a little deeper than this for you guys. I mean, they were fighting during about 1862 of September. So, we're just going to go up here a little ways up here a little bit. This is how, this is how deep it was. It's probably just a, just a little deeper than this. But in time and erosion and all that, it kind of grew up a little bit. But I'm just giving you a little view of uh, the Bloody Lane. And hopefully you, you're really enjoying this uh, content that I'm putting out for you guys. It's called the Bloody Lane of Sep Sep September 17th, 1862. So we just give you a little shot of this here. There's ways to get up to another monument up there. Give you a shot of that. Give you the whole shot of the uh, battlefield. The Vidra Center is like right there, with my fingers pointing. That's the Visitor Center. We're just gonna go up through this little path here. Show you a bit more. But we're just giving you a, a view of uh, Antietam of 1862. A little breezy out here today, guys. I'm with two other people right now. But uh, they, they went all the way up to, to the farm. See if I can't bring the farm up. Right about there is where, where the farm's at, right there between them two trees. Right there, that's how far they went. So, I'm just giving you a small walking tour. I don't know too much about this battle, battle, battle of Antietam. This is the uh, 14th Connecticut. This is in Maryland. I don't know if y'all can read that or not. Um, it says 102 wounded. Died of disease is, is 186 wounded. 
549 discharge of disability 319 that's what it has on there I don't know if you guys can see seen that or not that was the uh, Connecticut monument See if we can bring this up for you guys so you can see this a little bit. It says this monument stands on the line of companies B and G near the left of the regiment. In in this battle, the regiment lost 38 killed and mortally wounded, 88 wounded, and 21 reported missing. That's the Connecticut. So we're just going to take you down through here. Show you this other little monument up in here. I haven't seen this one. I haven't seen this one in, at all. This is the first time I'm coming up through here. We're going to we're going to this one right here. Sorry if you if you hear my phone going off. This one here is the uh, fifth Maryland Vet Volunteers. Give you a, a view, see if there's anything on the back side of it. No date, no writing on the back side. Nothing there, but just the front part of it. It says right there, it says the 5th Maryland Vets. Infant Volunteers Infantry. Just give you a more view of this up in here. The Burnside Bridge is uh, among these trees down down through here, down down that direction. That's where Burnside Bridge is at. Actually, the Bloody Lane was the second phase of the battle. I'm sorry, the second phase. The third phase was down, 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 um, down by Burnside Bridge. That was the third and final phase of the battle. The first phase was near the Dunker Church. It's right across, right across the street from the, uh, Visitor Center. That's where the Dunker Church is at. I'll show you where the visitor center at, where the visitor center is at again. Right there is the visitor center, and then right in front of that, right there, is where the Dunker Church is at. Just down a little ways from there, that's the Dunker Church. Hopefully y'all enjoying this uh, view of uh, Sharpsburg. I'm just showing you just a few few uh, shots here, here and there. We're just going down through here. See if there's anything else down down direction down in here. See if there's anything down here. We gotta keep an eye out for the snakes and takes. I think there's nothing else down here. I don't think. Well, we're just going to give you a little tour down through this direction, give you a little bit more of a view of the battlefield of Antietam.
This is in Maryland. So, I mean, uh, I really hope that you guys enjoy this uh, content a little bit. But I just dropped from uh, 1998 all the way down to 1995 on family members. That's how far I dropped. Because uh, YouTube's taking them away from me. I was only like two away on Friday. All of a sudden, now I'm, now I'm down to, now I'm, I think I'm back up. Now I'm like five away now for my 2K. Which I think is ridiculous. Because no one else is uh, commenting. Or watching my videos because I have over a thousand subscribers and nobody, none of the, you all are watching them or leaving a comment. I'm getting a little fed up about it. About this YouTube. And yes, I'm talking to you, YouTube. I'm talking to you. You just leave the numbers alone. So we're just going to go back up here. Back through the uh, bloody lane. And they, they walked up to the farm and I wasn't here then. I was just uh, on my way here when they just got back. I'll just show you some more of this battlefield here. But I'm just walking along and showing you guys all this. Yes, I had to put this thing on pause because somebody had the uh, cell phone going. Uh, they were up at the uh, roulette farm. That's where they were at. They were at the roulette farm. There's more shot of the battlefield. Some of it has some of it's privately owned. Here's a rail fence. So I didn't, you know, didn't all see this. This is called the north northwest corner of the uh, of the Piper Farm. See if we can bring you in here a little bit for that, so y'all can see that. It's a nice long. No hike up here to here. I'm just going, I'm just up on top of the hill here. Oh, I mean, we almost stepped in, in a groundhog hole. Oh, I guess we have to go down here because I won't be able to walk along this hill. Whoa! But it's pretty deep. Oh, we have another one here. Uh, I don't know if y'all can read that or not, but it says the 14th Indiana Infantry, the 1st Brigade, Division, 2nd Army Corps, Colonel William. H-A-R-R-O-W, commanding 
fought 70 yards east of this position and parallel with, with the road from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. on September 17, 1862. Officers and men engaged was, was 320. Officers and two men killed was 28. Officers wounded, eight men wounded was 141. So I'll just read that to you guys. So I'm just going to head back here to uh, these two other guys where I'm at. I don't know if we're allowed to get down around this road here or not. I don't think we're allowed. This is the, uh, to the roulette house. That's the road to the roulette house. says to the relet to the relet house it's right down here let's see if we can get down that way see if we can see it we're just going to take a nice little stroll down here just a little ways and then walk back because i know i'm running out of time here real quick to try to show you the uh, roulette house. I think we're getting close to it. Nice long, nice long walk to the uh, roulette house. And we're right beside an old stone wall. I don't know if you're allowed down this way or not, but I'm going down here anyway. Let's see how far we can go down this way. Cause I'm not gonna go all the way down, down to the uh, roulette house. We're going to go down to, to the end of this little trail here. Oh yeah, you can see it. Right there is a roulette house. There's a barn. Show you some more. Bring, bring you back out. So that's only further I'm going. And I'll catch everybody on the next one. And this is uh, Squirrels Magnificent and Outdoors. I'll catch everybody later. Bye.